Hey guys, this is DG. Today we will learn periodic analog signals in the data communication. So let's start. The physical layer in the TCP IP protocol suit converts data received from the data link layer to signals. In the data communication, we commonly use periodic analog signals and non-periodic digital signals. Let us discuss periodic analog signals in detail. A continuous signal which repeats after a fixed time is called a periodic analog signal. It can be simple or composite. A single sine wave is an example of simple periodic analog signal. It is defined by three parameters, peak amplitude, frequency and phase. Peak amplitude is the distance between the point of highest intensity and the point of zero intensity. It is root 2 times of its RMS value. RMS is the root mean square value. Frequency is the number of times a periodic signal repeats in one second. Suppose a simple periodic analog signal repeats 3 times in one second. So its frequency is 3 Hz. The time it takes to complete one cycle is called its time period. Here, the time period is 1 by 3 second. That is, the time period is inverse of frequency or frequency is inverse of the time period. If a signal maintains a constant level, then its frequency is 0 Hz and the time period is infinite. If a signal changes from one level to another level in no time or instantaneously, that is, time is equal to 0 seconds, then its frequency is infinite. Phase describes the position of a wave relative to time 0. It is measured in degrees or radians. 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians. A sine wave with phase 0 degree starts at time 0 with a 0 amplitude and the amplitude is increasing. It means the sine wave is not shifted. If the phase is 90 degree, then the sine wave starts with a peak amplitude and the amplitude is decreasing. It means the sine wave is shifted to left by one fourth cycle. If the phase is 180 degree, then the sine wave starts with a zero amplitude and the amplitude is decreasing. It means the sine wave is shifted to left by half cycle. The distance covered by a signal in one cycle is called its wavelength. It is calculated as propagation speed divided by the frequency of the signal. The frequency of the signal is independent of the medium. However, the wavelength and the speed of the signal both depends on the frequency and the medium. The speed of signal in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. It is lower in air and even lower in the cable. Till now, we have shown a simple sine wave as the variation of amplitude with respect to time. It is called time domain plot. To show the relationship between the amplitude and the frequency of a signal, we use frequency domain plot. It is focused only on the peak amplitude and the frequency of the signal. Consider three signals with frequency 0 Hz, 1 Hz and 2 Hz. Let us represent these signals using time domain plot. Now let us represent the same signals in frequency domain plot. With frequency domain we can easily see the frequency and the peak amplitude of signals. So, the frequency domain is quite easier to understand in case of multiple signals. A single sine wave is not useful in data communication. If we are talking over the phone and only one sine wave is allowed, then we would just hear a buzz. So we need to send multiple sine waves over the phone to talk to the other person. Such a signal is called a composite signal. As per Fourier analysis, any composite signal is a combination of simple sine waves 
with different amplitudes, frequencies and phases. A composite signal can be periodic or non-periodic. A periodic composite signal has sine waves with discrete frequencies that have integer values. For example, f, 2f, 3f, etc. A non-periodic composite signal has infinite sine waves with continuous frequencies that have real values. For example, 1.2f, 1.3f, 1.4f, etc. Consider a composite signal with frequency f. Let us decompose it and represent it in the time domain and frequency domain. It results three signals. The first signal has frequency f, which is same as that of composite signal. It is called the fundamental frequency or the first harmonic. The second signal has frequency 3f, that is three times of the fundamental frequency. It is called third harmonic. The third signal has frequency 9f, that is nine times of the fundamental frequency. It is called ninth harmonic. Understanding this composite signal in time domain is quite difficult. So we plot it in the frequency domain. Therefore, the frequency domain of a periodic composite signal is always made up of discrete spikes. A microphone or telephone generates a non-periodic composite signal for human voice. On decomposition, it results an infinite number of sine waves with continuous frequencies between 0 and 4000 Hz. So the frequency domain of a non-periodic composite signal is always continuous. The range of frequency in a composite signal is called its bandwidth. It is the difference between the highest and the lowest frequency. Here it is 4000 Hz. So in this video, we learned the parameters of sine waves, simple and composite analog signals and representation of signals in time domain and frequency domain. If you have learned something from this video, then please like this video, share this video so that more people can learn. Subscribe to Tech Terms if you want to learn more and turn the notification icon on. Thanks for watching.